the inverse of a two by two matrix. Using Gauss-Jordan elimination to find the inverse of a matrix works well, even as a computer technique for matrices of dimension three by three or greater. For two by two matrices, however, many people prefer to use the formula for the inverse rather than Gauss-Jordan elimination. This simple formula though works only for two by two matrices and is explained as follows. A two by two matrix is given by A equals, and we have A, D, and then C and D here. It's invertible if and only if A times D minus B times C is not zero. So moreover, if A times D minus BC is not zero, then the inverse is given by this. So notice the A and the D switch positions. C and B are in the same spot, but the only thing that changes is that it is a negative. Okay, so again, um, the A and D, these ones switch positions, and then we add the negative in front of those pieces there. Okay, so just to kind of uh, know what we're doing with it. So this is the formula for the inverse of a two by two matrix, and then we have this information here. And so we're, we'll try it out. Another thing to note is that the denominator A, D minus B, C is what's called the determinant of a two by two matrix A. And then we're gonna study that in the next section. So we're going to apply this formula, find the inverse of a two by two matrix, and so if possible, find the inverse of each matrix. So the first thing we do is we look at the determinant. Uh, we want to see, so the determinant, look to see if, make sure A times D minus B times C is not equal to zero. Now, if you look at the formula, uh, you know that can't be because then the denominator would be zero and you're not allowed to have zero. So let's try this out. 3 times 2 minus uh, negative 1 times negative 2. We want to make sure that doesn't equal 0. So this is 6 minus a positive 2. So that is 4. So we do need that number that will be the denominator of our formula. So A inverse, remember that's 1 over AD minus BC. And so that's actually going to be in that spot there. And then we just switch these positions here. D and then an A will switch, and then for B and C, we're just gonna add a negative, negative to it, so that does not switch places. So let's fill this in. So it's one over four, so we're basically adding a scalar of one times four, or multiplying the scalar one over four, and then looking at our original matrix here. So two now is up at the top, three is at the bottom, one and two are in the same spot, and the opposite signs are positive. Then to finish it out, we distribute the one fourth inside. So this is one half, one fourth, one half, and three fourths. And so this is the inverse matrix. So very fast to find. So let's do one more example. So we're gonna multiply three times two minus uh, negative one times eight, negative six. So this is six minus a positive six, and that is zero. So therefore this is not invertible. And so we can stop there. So try out this example here. If possible, find the inverse of A. So if you try this out, you should have gotten the determinant is 23. Then you switch the places of the A and D. So this is four, this is five. You write the same numbers here, but just switch the signs. Then you distribute the one over 23 and you find you get four over 23, one over 23, negative three over 23, and five over 23.